Best of Rain 2 has become an eSport. Every week, three to four racers go head-to-head -head in a no-holds-barred gauntlet match for random survivors with random loadouts and random stages. However, one thing that is not random is loot. All of these runs are seeded, meaning everybody has the same opportunity to get the same items. And just to quickly go over the rules, one, lunar items are not allowed, this is to encourage more build diversity, two, all runs must be done in Eclipse 8, three, instead of four pillars there are now two, and the most significant difference is a mechanic called plus five. One of the biggest problems we had early on in developing this game mode was how to deal with deaths. The way it used to work was if you died in your run, you'd have to restart from stage one. This didn't really work for obvious reasons, so now if you die in your run, you respawn with an item called Lazarus Wings. All this item does is add five minutes to your timer, which you don't want since the goal is to beat the game faster than everybody else. Since this was live streamed, another rule is racers are not allowed to look at chat. This is to prevent cheating. So for that reason, this is a little bit different from my normal stream highlights. I'm very honed in and focused on the task at hand. Throughout the stream, you'll see the commentator's perspective, which is usually race and some other bozo. Today, that happens to be gamer host. They are the people organizing the event and they just kind of explain what's going on. Real quick, shout out to Coco, Riley, and Mirang from my Discord for helping me recover the end of my Beating Every Survivor livestream. You guys rock. I also want to acknowledge the structure of this video was inspired by Wooly Gaming and his editor. They've made some amazing content for the races, and you should check them out if you haven't done so already. All right, on to the video. All right, so we got some, uh, we got some races for you guys today. Let's go over the loadouts. So for the runners today, we have Bullrug, Cabbage, and Disputed Origin. Loadouts today are pretty interesting. Actually, loadouts that are pretty decent. We got Void Fiend as our kind of warm up for the day. We have Diablo Captain, which is always really interesting and fun. We have my favorite Merc loadout, and then we have a Power Mode Rebar uh, Nailgun multi. And we're off, so they're going into Roost right now. For the, the stage order, we have Roost, Aqueduct, Fogbound Lagoon, and then Grove. So we might see him get pots, who knows? Do the buttons, do some pot rolling. I'm always excited for that kind of stuff. But with the uh, void fiend, it's like you have the potential to go so fast too if you uh, have really good corrupted mode uptime and stuff like that. Oh, saw. That's interesting. Like, open one more chest here. What we got? Nice. We got saw ring on disputed. In... Yeah. So disputed is the uh, the one who's always been trying to push the saw tech on Mithrix. Yeah, I know he's been really trying to practice that and uh, try to perfect that a little bit more. So maybe we'll see uh, something like that pop into the uh, the races today. Who knows? He might actually just take that all the way. Since Void Fiend has a passive uh, pillar skip, he can just go all the way up and then, you know, hopefully get that really good saw damage on the third and face rate. We've got Book of Mormon. Beautiful. Makes setting the teleporter necessarily kind of worth it if I can get some drops. I can just very quickly loot all of these. I need to look for a skip. Even though I can skip with Void Fiend, it's just slow. I need a little bit of speed, actually. If I can find a speed printer, that would be okay as well. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that. But look at this. We have a banned stage one. I don't know if Cabbage is going to find it. Go. But like Gorse Home as well, and Gorse Home, like historically, has been amazing. A lot of people love pennies in the races because you can really accelerate with how fast you get items and everything. But Gorse Home is right there with it, so very, very good for what they're trying to do here. Bullrug is using the pennies uh, from Wisps to get extra money. They have like, like the uh, the loadout for money, dude. Yeah, Cabbage is uh, opting for a different enemy. He's going for fireballs. Everyone pretty much had the same mindset. I've got pennies. I've got some damage. Let's just go right for the TP and just about mm -hmm. everyone's already almost done. Charging the teleport were, what, three minutes? So yeah. I think they're going to grab a few chests, see what they can get real quick, and hope for the best, move on to the next stage. Having both a Gore's Tome and pennies, you know, assuming that you know, hopefully uh, Grandpa can find his favorite item there. This could be really fast early game. With Void Fiend, the penny value is insane because corrupted form, you have 50% damage reduction. I definitely want to take the time to get bans here. Look yep. at everyone's loadout or everyone's items. Look at bottom right. Who didn't get the pennies? Disputed didn't oh, get the pennies. Oh, man. He doesn't really have much. That's already... That's minus two items already, minus three, including the pennies. And yeah. that deficit, if he can't find something too, soon, it's only going to increase. I mean, I don't know how easy it's going to be for these these uh, competitors to open up the gates to get uh, to the bands. But I mean, the elders, they are the easiest 
penny farm in the game period kind of worried about the speed here i mean everyone left at the same exact time stage one but he left with half as much loot is he kind of sacrificing some efficiency because he's trying to go a little bit fast um i think i want to start this I think I his know. strategy here, I mean, he has a royal capacitor. He knows he can get bands on the stage. So he has the Gore's Tome, so he's thinking that's, this is going to give me a few extra items per stage. He can just go from teleporter to teleporter. He doesn't need too much loot. Obviously, a little bit of speed is going to be uh, almost mandatory, um, as, we, as we've seen runs that don't really get a a solution to avoiding mythrix during the fight but uh one capacitor and a few bands is enough to take him down what do we got fuel cell not bad the only thing i would get rid of this for is a base and then i just need speed capacitor with three bands that's enough can you fucking cooperate please god damn it <laughs> yeah we'll see i mean this pot's usually pretty easy it's deceptively uh annoying because <laughs> sometimes like it, it pops off the button or it'll, it'll flip out but um it looks like bull rug got it pretty quick did he the get it it's almost done it's it was on its side i don't know if it stopped moving or not i mean we'll see when he steps on this one because yeah looking at he this video, he's it. definitely have that he has that down 100 okay yeah he's got it and so cabbage is like now cool. starting to look for the pots i assume so we'll see how fast he does those i know for for sure that Bullrug and Disputed have more practice with the pots than Cabbage does, so we'll see if um, he takes a little bit longer there. There is a Pennies right in front of the gate, which is massive, so Disputed can actually get that as well. Cost a little bit of time to get bands, but I think it'll be worth it. Just give me like a drink, mocha, hoof printer. That's what I want. That's what I require. And I'm just going to go straight to teleporter after this. Come on, man. You got this. It's it's tough if you're uh, trying to get no, up. No, there it goes. The, yeah. Because a lot of times people look at it and they think, okay, if I just, you know, roll it, it seems pretty flat. It's it's not. It's kind of like over the edge a little bit. There's a this little hook. You have to kind of go around it. Oh, fuck the void. Yeah, I fucked up. Forgot about that. All of these greens are really bad, except my bands. honestly a really good build right now so i would be i think what they're looking for now is just speed they want to get something oh, to skip colors poly loot yeah bulwark found yep. it it's right to the left of spawn on fogbound lagoon so they just kind of go over that way i know disputed sees the cradle already bulwark did not find capacitor or if he did he didn't choose to take it you know he might not have capacitor but he found poly loot which you know i think that that definitely downplays the importance of having an equipment this run if you could just get a little bit of a proc chain going who cares if you have lightning if you can just melt anything that you look at there i mean look at the yep. word there he's gonna go down to half health more than that yeah look at that polylute easy yeah easy morphine kill. is very uh, balanced and normal <laughs> normal <laughs> amount of damage when you're in corrupted form the fact that bulrug is keeping pace with the uh the old man even without the capacitor, it's really cool too. Like he is just kind of pushing. I think the speed is looting a tiny bit more, or at least he did that stage. Cabbage just trying well, to teleport. He went straight as well. to the teleport yet again. I think he just wants to keep going and going. I don't know yeah. if he saw the uh, the void cradle if he wants to get that after, but definitely by having the poly loot, that's going to make things a lot easier for the other two, uh, clearing out the overlord and you know more importantly in this situation, all the adds. Right, those shungites they'll tear your hit points down bit by bit chunk by chunk looks like bulrug is looting a little bit more he did get a lot of money uh in the teleport because of the double pennies in gore's tome so he's kind of gonna see what's around though you know just like the the fewer speed items he has the harder it's gonna be to kind of do this stuff but he needs more speed if he wants to skip pillars and if he can't skip pillars then he still has to walk all the way to the other side of the moon to do pillars <laughs> yeah, that's cabbage yeah cabbage is speed? i don't know if you asking. saw that there yeah this might just be one of those runs where <laughs> they just don't get any give me spaces or something so i don't feel bad about not getting them earlier thank you yeah i have to loot up a little bit just so i can find a little bit of mobility Okay, that's good. So I cannot skip how I am now. There is an Aegis in Bullrug screen near the whoa, coast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. 
A uh, little yeah. disciple printer. I don't know if we saw that. Obviously, there isn't going to be any. Another ban for cabbage stuff. and disputed. They both found it. It's on the a little bit under the water, I think, on the way up to the uh, the top ramp. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> My favorite item. It's like, <laughs> oh no, there's a wax quill printer right there. Ooh. I almost wonder if someone's gonna greet it. Nope. Cabbage greets a band away. So greets away the fire band that he finds. That is um, rough, man. Yeah, I mean, he does have speed now, though. Right, the other two deciding, or I don't think we've seen what the speeder chose to do, ultimately. Does walk in with the extra gold, though. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the other same thing. Down. Quails, okay. That's interesting. I want to utilize that. I don't want to lose my bands, though. This teleporter down here probably is, yeah. I'm just going to do that. See a void cradle down there. Don't forget that. Cabbage taking the wax quill, right? Obviously, we see him on the TP sooner than everyone else being able to move around a lot faster. I'm assuming the other two are looking for like a scrapper, as we were talking about, trying to find a few greens to get rid of so they yeah. can get the wax quill. Damn, that killed both of them. I'm really fucking strong. Maybe I just do pillars. Feather on cabbage. Frack is just not getting hit. Oh, there's yeah. a feather? Mm hmm. Oh, there it is. Hopefully I think the other guys find it. Whoever's getting that feather is fighting for first. The mythic fight is just so easy if you have a feather. It doesn't even matter how much speed you have, really, because it doesn't matter a little bit. Um, if you have like one or two, it's okay. There's a void cradle that I think these guys are missing right now. Disputer just got the feather. The speed's going to open up the void cradle right here, I assume. Oh, Bullrug's going to the same spot. He gets the feather too. Everyone gets the feather. Nice. The speed found a regen scrap. I'm curious if he wants to go and snag himself a free uh, wax quail. Just a little bit of speed, please. I mean, that's good. It's technically speed. I'll take that. Be good to me. That's not being good to me. Shit. I think I'm spending too much time looting here. I might just have to commit to doing pillars. There's the horde of many. Mending, Mending elder Lemurians. Yeah. I think it's not gonna. It's still not gonna be a problem for anybody. Obviously. Oh no. Our competitors here, they don't have the most amount of speed, but their DPS is just so insane, especially if they can start the. Oh my gosh. Savage losing his elixir there, which is kind of scary. Ooh. Good thing he had that there. That was. <laughs> oh. Between... You know, I, spoke, I spoke a little bit too soon. I was going to say, if they're in corrupted form as this boss starts, it's going to be a lot easier for them. Uh, fuck. I'd probably take that, yeah. And hey, that was out of a shrine, so hopefully the other guys don't find it. Bullrog taking care of the... Oh, God, he freezes in the middle of the laser. Thankfully, it doesn't lock on to him. He's able to escape... God damn it. Fucking mending horde of Elder Lemurians. My favorite boss. I was hoping I could uh, scrap a little bit during this, but that's probably not going to happen. Bullrug loses an empty bottle. Oh, God. But just tanks through it. Again, I was talking about corrupted form. That stuff is insane. The defense. He just needs you to can make just sure he stand there and take whatever. Anything. Second Aegis just dropped. Oh, and it's on Cabbage. He, I, I saw he was, uh, he was doing a little shaky cam on that earlier. <laughs> It's interesting that Disputed uh, opted to take the egg, and honestly, that might have been a good move for the teleporter there, but who knows? I mean, may, may have gotten through it faster with the capacitor, but it looks like he's trying to play a little bit safer, which we've kind of seen from him lately in the races. Oh, he's right in the middle of fire right now. Oh, jeez. This is... Please stay away from There we go. Good execution of the volcanic egg getting into it. Of course, staying up against a wall, it's just asking for splash damage to take a toll on your life. See that? I mean, hey, I don't know if the other guys found the skip, so I might have the advantage there. Everyone's going to be walking to Mythrix with a different equipment first off. Yeah. But. I think for the Mythrix fight, Cabbage has to take it, right? I mean, the, the capacity... Oh, he's going for a soul pillar, though. Let's think about that, though. Bullrug has three Kajara's bands. 
and one Renounce, which might not be a lot because he doesn't have the capacitor to land it, but he's also got two ATGs instead of just one, and has double Tentabobble. So if he could just pin Mithrix down with that Tentabobble, and his two watches compared to Cabbage's uh, one watch, you know, all these little things keep adding up, although, you know, Cabbage does have an APR, same with the speeder for that matter. This this is a really close one. I would I want to say Bullrug if they like were starting at the exact same time. I think with Cabbage's minute lead here, minute and a half lead, uh, he'd probably be the, the favorite here. I think Bullrug really needs to land some saw tech or something. Um, because otherwise this pillar is just gonna take him so long. Honestly, oh it looks like uh, Cabbage is going to Clover, yeah. So if... what did he lose? He did not lose fans or feather or an ATG. Did he scrap? He might have scrapped actually. Yes, they both of them scrapped for four okay. green scrap, I do believe. And Bullrug has two tenta bobbles again. If he can get past this disputed uh, horde of enemies. Okay, Disputed should make it up here, but he's taking a lot of damage from the Wisps. He's fine. It's just like he did lose his one-shot protection already, which is yeah. not ideal, honestly. So I just, with Disputed's egg, I don't think he has a chance. Unless yeah, he, something I mean, he happens. Yeah, he got less but... items. He was building up for the capacitor and then opted to go with a pillar skip. I lost a lot of my damage by losing capacity. We got here before 30 minutes, which is all right, but I think I could have done that a lot faster. Bullrug uh, then, gave up his clover after he got it. stun grenades! What are you doing, Bullrug? That was the win right there! So, oh, jeez. That would have been a permanent stun on Mithrix with Tentabobble. So, to be clear, I think Bullrug was just trying to get rid of all of his extra Aegis, and I think he just had a... Uh, he just forgot that he had a clover. Look at Cabbage, already in phase three. He took the clover, he did the pillars. I mean, if he doesn't die from pizza. Or I mean, yeah, that's some that's all we're waiting for. Tragedy. This is Cabbage's game. So like, you can look at Disputed, he got there before Cabbage, but it's just, he doesn't have the equipment. He doesn't have the clover. He doesn't have all this extra stuff. Um, and he's just gonna fall behind slowly and slowly. Uh, yeah, Bullrug might uh, even have a faster fight because he has saws and a lot of extra damage. It'd be really close for those two. Gotta play this kind of safe. I could die here if I'm not careful. And it looks like Cabot is about to finish here. He's probably just gonna do phase four. Okay. He has to do phase four, yeah. No big deal. He has a capacitor. He's Void Fiend. He speeded just finishing up phase two, and then Bullrug's about to start phase two. So... I don't know. Even giving up that clover, I think Bullrug still has a chance to get in front of uh, Disputed here. I'm glad I took the egg. Where I have zero mobility, it's kind of like my only option. Shit. Should have proc bands there. charge shot there. Bo 
Bullrug does plus five. Bullrug plus five, and he needed that to get in front of Disputed. Now Disputed actually has a chance here. Looks like Cabbage is done. Give me a sub 40. We'll see how I do. No plus fives. I got the skip. Very sloppy phase three, but. Yeah, I just didn't have any speed items, so I was kind of. Ah, <sighs> it was a decent performance considering. Did the best with what I was given. I think I maybe looted a little bit too much. We'll see if that bites me in the ass. But if the other guy is plus five at all, I think I'm pretty safe. Tell me, Bullrug, uh, what happened? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think my brain just went shut down because of this hot weather you know um <laughs> yeah. i thought i scrapped my aguses <laughs> i was like oh okay well I'll okay that's some stun grenades that makes sense and then, that makes sense and then i was doing the pillars and i was like huh where's my clover i just picked up and then i looked at my inventory bar i'm like ah oh, right i got one agus when i should have two but it's not scrap and i was just like okay well Jeez. it is what it is uh, what, did you guys find a pillar skip no you're the only one who skipped pillars disputed Really? Um, and you finished real time, like only five seconds ahead of Bullrug. It took a while. I don't know what the right answer was, but you had very low damage in the fight. Yeah. You had fewer items here. than anybody else, especially in terms of damage, and you didn't have the equipment. So you had the longest Mythrix fight. I think Bullrug even came into Mythrix um, when you were on stage two, or phase two, sorry and you complete it at the same time so i don't know maybe i should have taken capacitor there and just done pillars that's what cabbage did and it looked like he did it pretty fast yeah i didn't find a single speed item no. i found one there was there that were two bokas <laughs> yeah. there's a quail printer that i considered going into but you should have grabbed one just one like yeah. a singular quip bullrug and cabbage the two of you found a roll of pennies on stage one yes and through that you exited the stage both at the same time with six items disputed yeah i had like two items <laughs> you had three items leaving stage well one. okay part of that Nothing though i was time. getting upset because i got gore's tome from the teleporter and then none of them were dropping it <laughs> yeah i kind of noticed you're getting unlucky with those right. yeah sorry G. uh you guys are able to start captain so if you guys want to start up you're more than welcome to this is the second loadout of the day so we have a lot to do. All right. All right. Good luck. Good luck. What do we got? We have Athelion, Sulfur, Grove. Listen, I'll take a second place. I will take a second place gladly. Nobody got any bonus points on that one, which is good. There's still a lot of time to come back. So Captain, Diablo Captain is honestly, in terms of uh, showcasing some really neat stuff in the races. I think Diablo Captain is my favorite. There's so much Captain tech to go over throughout the entire run. It's very fun. It's very cool. Uh, the first one we'll probably see pretty soon is speed shooting. It looks like there's a Lysate cell and Cabbage just took it on Captain. Interesting. It looks like he's going for more of the, uh, the hacking route then. He'll get the effects of that Lysate at the start of next stage. Uh, do I do this? I'm doing this. I have Diablo. Fuck it. Give me two bands. And honestly, with Diablo and speed shooting with Captain, I think a Mountain Shrine's uh, an easy choice. I kind of regret having a Mountain Shrine, but we'll see. If it's Beetle Queens, that's going to be really easy. Okay, I hate that. I'm just going to immediately scrap because there's no reality I get Deathmark. 
Yeah, I should just look for a healing drone or something. AoE would be nice as well. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, give me that. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. No way. Disputed just found a gas printer, and he found an ignition tank right next to the gas printer. So, <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting run, I think. What the, what the one monster? Okay. Oh, I forgot the void seed. Shit. Yeah, I should grab that. What am I doing? All right, fan sanctuary. We do have do a seed correctly with one a enemy. Singular enemy. Yep. We're looking at disputed here. He's hacking the uh, adaptive chest, and he's gonna try to get something out of it. Let's see. Last shower. Do I would have taken that speed. Oh, I would have taken the opal. I was okay. Yeah, I, that, that speed was <laughs> the right choice, and thankfully, squid polyp. Believe it or not, saves the day. I would have taken any one of those items. It was like opal, mocha, uh, a goat hoof, and then opal again, and then a bleed. And I was like, dude, why are we not? <laughs> Cabbage C is a good equipment. really holding out. The, the noticeable missile launcher. Damn, I wish I still had my hacking beacon. <laughs> I could get a lot of shit there. Unfortunately, uh, Disputed used his hacking beacon already on the adaptive chest, but. Both. Yeah, if you use your hacking beacon when you have a card on a triple shop, you get you get oh, all that for free. Right. So, you know, maybe something to consider. Disputed just found a feather on that kind of island on the side of the map next to the Void Cradle. Uh, Bullrug just found a crit printer up top near the Void Seed. It, it's crazy because all three players went to different parts oh. of the map. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Dude, that's crazy. I might even kill the Beetle Queen before this. Okay. I don't know. I think I'm just going to loot the stuff here. It's kind of a long way to go. Ooh. No, I will go over there, actually. No one's going for Void Crit. I... Don't know, but I think Bullrug so far is the only one who's seen the crit printer on the other side of the map near the Void Seeds, so... All right. Oh, and there comes... Oh, look the, at that. Uh, Disputed just had, like, a sniper marksman mark. Over on the other side of the map, he saw one pixel of that printer, and he just marked it, as I said that, which is funny. I mean, will I? Do I... How much do I want crit? Double my damage. Um, fuck it. I'm not going for the Void Seed. I think that's too far out of the way. Vase. All right. We're now we're talking. Now I just need bands. If I can get like two ice bands and two crowbars. Oh shit! Watches. Disputed has answered the sulfur pools. And so this is Disputed's favorite map in the game. He talks about it a lot. How much he loves it and how good it is of a map. So we'll see how he does on his favorite map. Um, Jeez, he's getting rid of all of his crit even. Oh wait, no, the, he has crap. The gas, though, and that he's getting rid of. Uh, stuff. Looks like Cabbage is speed shooting the Beetle Queen. He lost a little bit of his rhythm there. He got it. And that is one down. And it looks like Bullrug is 56% uh, crit right now. So, not bad. We'll see if that actually helps him out enough, or if the time he wasted doing that just doesn't uh, get kind of saved up. But Cycler? That could be very useful. I'm gonna grab the vase. I'm gonna try to get the fuck out of here. I need to get out of here fast. I just need to go teleporter, teleporter. Hope I find bands in a multi shop. I can't loot. I've wasted too much time. Hmm, shit, there's things back there. I'm just gonna come back here at the end, I think.
Oh my god, beautiful. I like an ice band though. Let's see if I remember my Diablo timings for Mythrix. It'll be a really quick fight if I just do it properly. So, uh, Grove, it looks like they should be looking for the the god chest uh, as soon as they can to get that red to help them out on the stage or something. If they accidentally speed shoot and use their hacking beacon, which is their M11, they do not get the red anymore. So Cabbage does get uh, an extra hack, I think. He has two extra hacks because he has two license. It looks like Boris taking the extra license as well. It looks like the speed is the only one he didn't get the, uh, the license at all. So he's really trying to gamble for the fuel cell advantage at some point. And that's true. Got a ban from the teleporter. So looks like everyone is going to get this one, which is great. Uh, it's really important now that they hit their early yeah, Diablo strikes on phase one Mythrix. Oh, it looks like Disputed did find a fuel cell. So hmm. maybe that vase, uh, instead of taking the Lysate and, you know, sacrificing that kind of thing, uh, would, is going to work out for him. We'll oh see. my god, Gup jump scare. Get out of there. Holy cabbage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Actually, chat, man. it's worth it this time. For the first See, time Chad, in a long time. This is why you always go for a red item, no matter what. Take well, 10 minutes. No, 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 listen. At the end of the day, like, it's it's, uh, it's a free chest because they're oh, captains. Right, so right. it's not like they they had to work for it. But yeah, right. I mean, cabbage soon. don't die here. <laughs> he is one floating mushroom cloud from death. I'm sure everyone is happy to see that ban, though. There is a scrapper greeting them on stage five. And oh, this, yeah. it is Looks going like right in. Oh, yeah, still this unit's all right. Looks like Bulrug is no. going to get the Behemoth. He's going to wait a little bit longer just to see if he can get it. Which, honestly, it's going to be worth it. Uh, just waiting that little bit of extra time. Fuck you. Okay, okay. Oh god. <laughs> that was stressful. I might have to check out soup. I mean... It's actually fine, probably. Yeah, with an equipment thing. Alright. Sure, whatever. I gotta go. I think Mythrix is gonna be easy, but the, the phase two... Buckers are going to be rough. It looks like Disputed is out of here. So we'll see him the first of the moon. He has the vase, obviously. So he's going to get there really quick. He has the fuel cell for the vase specifically, too. So he's going to double vase up. Man, I'm still kind of bummed out. No, forgive me, please. I mean, we had so much in play here for One it. day, host. Maybe one day. Parents are harassing him on the edge. He doesn't have any space. He needs to get out of here. All right. And he's gonna plus five. That is, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's hard to escape that. Brain stocks. That's not good. Chrono. Squids. Ignition tanks. And nothing back there. Okay. I believe I am up the shit creek without a paddle, my friend. Yeah, this is not going to be enough to one-shot him, especially where I don't have Ice Band. We'll see. Just hold this, staring him down. Move over there when it's like 30. That was some damage, for sure. 
I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. We'll see. I think that was maybe a little bit late. Okay, I got him, but I didn't really get all the damage. Shit. <laughs> that hit me. Alright, this is gonna be rough. Ah, shit. Don't plus five here. Do not plus five here. Looks like Cabbage is quailing up the side. He doesn't have a pillar skip, so Cabbage is going to be the only one to have to do pillars. And with his build, we'll see if he can actually uh, place in this. This is going to be tough. Disputed's on to phase two. And look at that. Bullrug is done. Phase one. He's on the phase two. Looks like he did get a crit there. So Disputed is the only one without a plus five right now as well. As I forgot, kind of. But Cabbage did die in stage one. So he's kind of like... You know, he's, uh, as far as Desco, he's tied with Bullrug here, so. It would be interesting if Disputed died and kind of evened out the deaths across all the players. Oh, that was bad. Oh. Shit. <laughs> that down there, maybe. I should speed shoot. Break watches somehow. Okay, can I kill you, please? I should have taken the um, the void crit. Speeded is uh, scaring me here. In the past couple of races, I think the Speeded has had um, a little bit of a tough time with Phase 2, so hopefully this one doesn't bite him too bad either, but that is a minus watch, so that's not good. I want to point out Bullrug's screen here. Bullrug is trying to set up the Phase 3 Diablo. I think he did it a tiny bit early, though. No, let's uh, see, let's see, let's see. Maybe it's perfect. It is perfect, and it goes through the armor. There is no 200 it was, armor on that hit. He did watch Cap's oh, video. That's um, a swipe and a plus five for yeah. him. Fuck, oh, man. Should work as long as he doesn't see me. That's another plus five for Bullrug. Shit. Oh, he's in it. Didn't sweet spot it, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Cabbage with a really that, good uh, Phase 3 Diablo, sorry, but he had a really good one there. He uh, he got the add kill and let their spawn right in the Diablo at a perfect time. Fuck. Cabbage with another killing. really good Diablo. Oh yeah. Disputed with a plus 5, unfortunately, so this kind of leaves it open for Cabbage to come back and take it here if he doesn't die. One. 
two, three. Cabbage got the perfect Diablo to end phase three, which also skipped phase four with the fire band. So he is good and done, and he's obviously just on the ship now. Boom! Okay, there we go, dude. I played that really badly. I didn't sweet spot it. I was Placing it too far out. I think that was a crit, so that was pretty good. Fucking plus five. Damn. Disputed after plus fiving, having to do phase four now. And again, you oh, know, he man. was doing really, really good. If Disputed I mean, didn't plus five there, he would have walked away here with the win, but. Yeah. That was. Mm. Jeez. Again, just like so much effort, so much doing right, playing phase two really good. Um. You know, I would have plus five a lot if I was in the speed of shoes, because... Am I dead? Fuck. God damn it. This oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. And that's just... Uh-oh. All right. The speed's dead again. That is a rip. You hate to see phase four deaths, man. Nice. Kind of. Not really, but... Damn. That was unfortunate. It's just one of those things, like, uh, when you're playing Phase 4, you have to assume that if you get hit, you die. And I just see it so often where people, um, just don't yeah, really take the needles seriously, or... Race will watch don't... people get hit once Phase 4 and then go on for about two minutes, like, that is actually impossible, he's still alive. <laughs> Dude. Impossible. Uh, I mean, he did die, so I mean, oh, he, yeah. he walked away and it died again or got hit again, but I might have a chance, maybe like second or, or something, but that was really sloppy. It would have been a 43 minutes without the plus five. Not bad, in my opinion. All right. Well, second, I'll take it. Overall, that's that's pretty good. With uh, with that run, best I could hope for. I'm confident on Merc though. Merc is my fucking man. You can't stop me on Merc. This is my favorite loadout. This has the mix. I think this is the most. This is the good mix between the most damage and the most mobility. Uh, that's comfortable for me. I like using the Whirlwind to have like a short range dash on the ground. Also gives you trim potential, kind of like Coils do with headset. And then with this dash and this uh, special, Slice and Wins, you can get so many exposed stacks, um, it just can chain together and snowball very, very hard. Um, Lens you... makers, hold up. The mm. rug decided, you know what? I have a brooch printer, I have crit. I would rather have a brooch and took his crit away. So we'll see how that plays out, obviously. Stage one, low HP mercenary early on. You can get one tapped really quickly. Um, so it's probably on his mind. He wants to have a little bit more defense, but he's giving up 10% crit, uh, you know, something he went for and had a lot of success with last run. All right, give me that cradle. Give me that right now. Oh, there's two of them. I'll come back here later after teleporter. Oh, shit. Uh, brooches? Actually... That's what I'm gonna do. I have three brooches. I'm gonna be set for the rest of the run. No, I'll go for two. Actually, I'll go for one because I need the fungus later. Looks like we have blazing stone golems as the stage one teleporter the boss. Mini. Oh, and Bullrug takes the first plus five of the run from a blazing stone golem. So, the more, yeah, the more you can get these golems bunched up, the better. That's a second plus five. 
Um, what he is doing right now is he's kind of splitting the golems up into two groups. If he had them in one group, it would be a lot easier to stack up that eviscerate, or not eviscerate, expose with all the slice and wins and uh, dash procs. So, um, it is silent on his stream right now. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's tough. Oh, That's going to be hard mentally to recover from, uh, yeah, getting a plus I mean, 10 minutes in the first stage. Grab that. Mm. Okay, we're good. Ooh, band. Nice. I'm gonna win any loadout. It's gonna be this one. I'm also pretty good on multi, but I I need to go for bonus points here. I'm still in it, but I need to get bonus points and I need cabbage to do kind of poorly. I'm doing significantly better than the uh, previous couple races though, so I'm happy. If I can continue that trend, that's all I can really ask for. That's a plus five from cabbage. See, I Was mean we're. I don't know. I just saw the flash. That's another plus five from Cabbage. Oh, See, no. look, I mean, look at Bullrug's screen. He's probably thinking, I'm an idiot. No one's going to do that but me. I'm the worst. Um, but we're sitting here watching someone else doing the exact same thing. So yummy, yummy, yummy. Nice. I kind of wish I got the key earlier. Sure. You can probably start teleporter immediately with this stuff. Got band, I've got healing. Pennies. Mm-hmm. Dude, oh shit, seven minutes. Yeah, I definitely gotta go. I gotta run. I took my time here and I think it'll pay off, but I need to pick up the pace. It looks like Cabbage actually has uh two void keys, which is in my opinion very, very good. The other players don't. They only have one, so they have to kind of make the decision of like, do they want to wait for another key? Never mind. Bullard just found another key in a shop. Looks like he's going to get that one, so he can kind of just clone his key over and over and over again and get uh, more and more voids instead of just taking a chance with like a green or a red from a normal key. And Disputed uh, coming out as the first person to not die stage one. So, <laughs> dude, it's uh. Those hordes of golems, they really are scary. Hopefully Bullrug can get through this here, but uh, oh my god, 7 HP on that brooch coming and saving him, literally. Uh, let's see if he can keep up those kills as kids stay alive. Is that a feather? I think it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a feather. Looks like Dispute is just trying to get an early uh, pot roll here. It's like he's just, it's right there, he can't quite get it. He's kind of dealing with wisps like mid pot roll and stuff. I don't know if, um, oh, there we go. Nice. Really good job for Disputed. He's going to be able to get bands uh, really early if he wants to. Okay. That was bad. Oh, shuriken is nice. Okay. Still somewhat early in the run, but I really gotta go. I have no time. I wasted probably like two minutes just trying to get that pot. I thought it would save me time if I did it at the beginning, but it didn't. There's also a key somewhere. I need to find it. It seems like this no, dude's you. not getting the bands right now. I would have kind of thought that he might have gotten them before a teleporter just to make it a little bit easier for the fight or whatever. Um, because going back from the teleporter all the way to the gate and then back uh, sometimes takes a while. Now, we were talking about earlier on the uh, the first loadout where we had the passer on Void Fiend. Is it worth getting the bands? And this time around, I mean, they have one fire band already, but... They don't have anything to I... really easily proc it, uh, like the capacitor, yeah. though. And it is Remember still Merc. Shit. They do need to start figuring out a way to multiply the damage in their build to to be an acceptable Mithrix level, right? Right. Uh, uh, especially like phase two. 
think they're very shook from the uh, the plus fives, especially uh, you know cabbage and bullrug. They're probably going to be mm -hmm. playing the, the run a lot more slowly, a lot more just I'm going to full loot and and try and collect my breath here after plus fiving twice. It's tough because a lot of people react differently to dying early on. Um, I know some people, uh, like we've seen Wooly or Cabbage in the past, have like if they died early on, they like really put it into overdrive. And they were like, okay, the only chance I have to win this run is by going as fast as humanly possible and hoping the run just gives it to me. Um, but then you have on the other end of the spectrum, you know, now Cabbage and Bullrug here, um, just kind of saying, you know what, let's uh, just try to get a good build and just make sure it's a solid one. It's tough though, because when you go too fast, uh, if you go faster than the run lets you, I guess kind of, it's like a... You can turn down a lot of things and just make the run worse for yourself. It, there, there is a pace that each run kind of um, has to it. Every run is different. I want to see what's in the void key for Cabbage here, or Bullrug, sorry. Um, that's Bullrug really interesting. Really Safer spaces, Needle Tick, and Plurpotent Larva. He takes I, Larva, though. He's died twice. I don't twice. think he's Larva thinking, is good. Yeah, he's thinking, I'm going to die many more times, probably. Yeah. Uh, when I do, I'm going to lose my only damage. <laughs> yeah. Having... No, thank you. I think Plurpotent Larva is kind of... I view it very differently in the races now. Oh. Plurpotent <laughs> Larva, to me, is less of a revive in the races and more of a tool to yeah. get um, different items or to void up your items. We've seen a lot of people in the races pick up Plurpotent Larva because it's an extra life and then die and then they lose more time just trying to beat Mithrix with no damage oh, than they oh. would full rug, uh, than they the would combo. have just uh, <laughs> just dying normally and taking the plus five. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Did somebody clipped that. That was that was the the freeze from the, the, the glacial elite into the magma worm slam. Okay, teleporter time. I can't greed. I've already greeted this run. I like having two crit. I feel like one is almost nothing, but I feel it a lot with two. It's like, it goes from one in 10 to one in five crit chance. No Murph, that's fine. Headset. No, Headstoppers, and Cabbage finds the first red. Beautiful. So, this is a perfect loadout for Headset, man. I love to see it. We haven't had, like, a really good uh, Headstomper run in a long time. So, they usually, when people get Headstompers, they're looking for Quail and a little bit of speed so they can shoot themselves up in the sky if they sprint against, sprint jump against a ramp. But, with Merc and with the Whirlwind ability, you can trim off slopes just by using it, as we've seen, as we saw Cabbage do right here. And there we go, boss is dead. Go. Close this card. Bam, bam. We go, we go. It's Abyssal. Like you know what's crazy? Cabbage is the only one that got the Headstomper stage three. Oh, no. The rest of the guys did not find it. Wow. So, Cabbage. Yeah. I mean, I it know he has close. two plus fives, but um, I mean, he's on track to beat Bullrug for sure. Nice. Just need to get to Mithrix soon. Nobody is going to plus five probably because of safer spaces. Oh, man, I mean, especially with bands, um, which Cabbage obviously has headset here. I mean, he could probably just go straight to the moon right now. Not even. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got bands. He's actually mercenary. Uh, he has safer spaces. He's trying to get a there good is... stop, but he keeps clipping through the out it's of bounds. It's just too high up. Yeah. Honestly, just go for a little stop or. There we go. Yep, and Perfect. boss dead. Look at that DPS. 
The band lands right on it. There's a ukulele. There's an ATG on this map as well, which Bullrug found a while back. Mm -hmm. There is just so much potential here. So it's just a matter of doing it faster. I'm gonna turn behind. If I can get like a capacitor out of one of those adaptive spell. I also have a void key somewhere. I'm not gonna bother looking for it. If I run into it next stage, I run into it next stage. Frankly, I I think even beating Disputed Origin. I mean, what damage does Disputed? What damage does? does I don't think he's gonna have? save ten minutes though on the Mythrix fight, but he is oh. gonna. Maybe not he's gonna Mythrix make up at least one uh, plus five. Yes. Yeah, Clearing stage four, clearing stage five. Interesting that Bullrug did not go for the band in the adaptive chest there. I don't know what he's looking for, but he got speed at the end of it, so. He wants the speed. He has had 32 runs now with no speed items, and he is, he is begging for a little bit of something. Try to get the band as close, but didn't work. Okay. Bullrug getting a plus five again. That is so brutal. He's trying to get a boop on one of the solo He doesn't units. want to do that right now. He needs to play it safe and just figure out, because look at that, three, four Solus uh, pros. He's dead again. He needs to got laser down. Do some... Do some uh, uh, What's that ability called? The R slicing winds. Just do that. Look at that. Look at that. He's like he's in fucking Mission Impossible. Fucking yeah, look at another that. plus five. <laughs> it's um, oh, the, the it's so unfortunate because you know, you know for a fact that he's dying a lot here because those stage one deaths really got to him. And if he had known that Cabbage also died twice stage one in the same exact way. I guarantee he'd be playing so much better here. That. That's another That's plus five as well. So that is net four plus fives this stage. Holy shit. Okay. Guess I'm buying drones after this. I don't know if the other guys found that. It's kind of crazy. Let's see how oh, some of the others do Disputed it. got a uh, spare drone parts. The Sparks. That's one of the favorite combos in the game ever, is uh, Spare Drone Parts and Emily Cores. He talks about it a lot, and it is really good. It is one of the better combos in the game. The amount of extra damage you get off those things is absolutely ridiculous. I don't have propulsion armor. That's scary. I'm not even going to take any chests. I'm just going to look for drones and maybe equipment. Uh, fuck it, I don't know. Alright, let's fucking go. I wish I had a better equipment here. But the drones are definitely gonna help. Looks like Cabbage and Bullrug are on the moon, so... I don't know, can... I mean, Disputed's right there. I don't think oh, yeah, Cabbage is gonna make up enough time, unless Disputed dies. Um, I think... Yeah, if he doesn't die, I think Cabbage does have a chance of uh, preventing the point. And if Cabbage can prevent the bonus point, that makes it Cabbage at uh, six points, Disputed would be at four, and it's going to be a lot more difficult for him to, to either tie up with uh, Cabbage in the fourth loadout or beat him mm. uh, if he could pull it off. But I don't know. If they didn't find the drone, man, I might be okay, actually. Oh, Polyloot coming in, Cabbage. That is Cabbage so Cabbage, Polyloot, Head Snuffers, ATG, Bands. It looks like uh, Bullrug's doing pillars. It's speeded. There he goes. He gets up as uh, as we can see. Cabbage lands an ATG from Head Snuffers that Polylooted. So he's on phase two now. Uh, and phase two is looking like, unless he messes up, will last about, let's say, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be very fast. I mean... Head set. He should be trying to use the uh, the cube here, maybe, just to try to get everything together. Just oh, throw yeah. it through the center. Yeah, that's a, not a bad idea. I almost wonder if he wants to save it to try and keep Mythrix inside a fire tornado or something like that. I imagine he does, which would also be a very good play. Disputed in the fight now. 
He did if make Bulma it through. Gets huh? over there and finds the encrusted key. He can get Polyloot. And he did uh, pick up another ukulele from the suit. So now it's he found it. a long climb for him, but this will at least be a little bit of motivation. There he goes. Pretty fast. He moved back into the band. That was fucking awesome. Holy shit. This fight is looking very good, though. I mean, look at this. I mean, Disputed's still on phase one. It's going to be a while before he gets as far as Cabbage is in the fight. Cabbage getting down a lot more. He's going to be careful not to. Uh... I think he'll be fine. He just needs a little bit more damage, and then. He wants to skip phase four here, job. obviously. Yeah. And he's going to be able to do it right here. Dash up Ready. and then slam. And, and GG. Boom. That is <laughs> beautiful. Get out of here. Maybe Cabbage can alleviate one of the plus fives with just how fast he went. Yeah. Maybe. And that would be enough. That would be enough if he can. Obviously, spare drone parts disputed did pick up four drones on stage five uh, with that. And yeah, yeah, it's making this phase, phase two here, which would have been a long time. Pretty quick, as you can see, every time all the drones that are kind of in sync, every time they open fire, that health bar is just chunking down. Um, the, the thing that Cabbage, he doesn't know it yet, but he, what he's trying to do right now is just to try to make sure that disputed does not get bonus points here. Um, because he has so many deaths, He's just trying to uh, get as close as he can. Because obviously if Disputed scores more than five minutes ahead of Cabbage, he's going to get an extra point for winning. So. in there. Shit. Still have a few drones. Colonel, stay alive. Fuck you. Ah, shit. That's actually good, I think. Ha! Ah, missed the skip. I should have stopped attacking him. Seven. I don't know. I think it could have been all way faster. My early game was horrible. I'd be surprised if people got bonus points, but it might be possible. So, Disputed gets bonus points, huh? Well, uh, let's see. You are at 43. Yeah, it does. He's ending, yeah. Almost got... enough to prevent it. <laughs> it was almost enough. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he got, got it out of the yeah. shipping request form. Oh, sure, great, okay. Yeah. Because I did go really slowly. It depends on if they found Drone Man. I got, I think, another shipping request form from an adaptive or something. So I 
don't think they would have, but I don't know. Maybe that you can find it with two. All right. Disputed. What up, dude? Hey. Sorry, but um, you know, they just played way better than you. You lost. But... I'm looking at the website. You're so full of shit. <laughs> now you won. You're so, so full of shit. <laughs> um, no, you're actually good. Everyone else died twice. Stage one. Really? The what? event. The golem yep. event got him. So you just not dying and just having a solid run through, you just won. Congratulations. It was really slow. Do you guys find the drone man? No. No. Nobody had okay. the... You had three shipping quest forms, is that right? Yeah. I, I got one from an adaptive chest, I think. That adaptive so. play was uh, huge. That was play the game for you right there. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. If it wasn't for that, you probably would not have gotten the bonus point. The snowball. Absolutely. Um, yep. You didn't find the headset, though, on stage yeah. three. What? Yeah. Stage three, like, literally out oh, in the open. Oh, yeah. I barely looted stage three because I had a horrible stage two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, yo, we don't need to talk about it. All right, we won't. Um, <laughs> you did miss a headset stage three, though. Would have been nice. I do want to tell you, um, I, I know you died twice, stage one, to the golems, but so did yeah. Cabbage. Cabbage actually, yeah, oh, really? he did you the same hard. exact thing. Yep, for a good amount of time. Yeah, it was really close. Anyway, um, honestly, if you guys are ready to start the last loadout of the day, it is Both a multi players. run though. Multi runs have always been amazing. They've always had a ton of reds everywhere. So we'll see if uh, this multi keeps up that streak. You jinxed it right there. So no, no, only the best, the best. <laughs> There's no jinx like caster curse is real. real. <laughs> it is. Real thing. This is a caster blessing, okay? There okay, is now, this, there now it's no definitely cursing fucked. here. Yeah, after your host said that, it's actually genuinely. <laughs> I'm the gamer host, okay? But I say goes. There will be only good items this run. Good luck, you guys. I hope so. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Hashtag I stand with Dole. Okay, um, so we have nail gun and rebar. So this loadout for multi, a little bit, um, you know, interesting. Oh no, it's the rebar puncher is the default M1, and then you only get the nail gun when you're in power mode? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh boy, okay. This is gonna be fun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. give me that. Don't like that. Multi is not my strongest survivor, but... I'm not too bad with this loadout. Zero printers here, really? Every time multi is chosen, it's really scary because you're gonna get something probably insane. You know, you're not gonna get the, the loadout that you probably like using the most. I feel like using, you know, double nail, power mode, or like, you know, some people like double rebar, retool, or whatever. Uh, you're gonna get some like saw, scrap launcher, uh, retool or something, you know? I do have power mode, so. Shouldn't be too bad, but... Nice. Got a lot of pennies from that. Huge That's... Ronald's band, and... You know, oh, that is huge. Now, look at Disputed Origins bank account. 247? 247. That was all He's from... Got pennies. Uh, Golem Petty Farming. Yeah, I mean... You gotta recognize when you can take hits, especially with power mode and stuff. Um, the Titan laser is an excellent way to just sit there and farm free money. And now you can loot up the rest of the stage if he wants to. It's a big stage, so he has to walk around throughout the whole thing and get loot if he wants to get anything, but... Alright. You give me all of this loot. Thank you. Ah, I can get bands again. I definitely want that. I'm not gonna waste three hours on pots this time though. I mean, with blast shower bands are extremely viable.
Bam. Shit. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't crit. Let's see if uh, Bullrug can. Oh god, Bullrug oh, at the no, worst. Pull. Oh god. Good usage of the M2. Obviously, yeah. you know it stuns. And that prevented the uh, the hyper beetle suck. Oh, please get out with your M2. Oh, I think he might be too close. He can't yeah, M2 just... away from it because it would hit yeah, yeah. backwards. Yeah, if he box. shifted, he would just hit inside of it. The thing's still alive and he's taking full suck damage. Fuck you. Stop doing that. Okay. Pretty good. Thank God for Blast Shower. Oh, we're gonna see the uh, the famous pressure plate take another spotlight here today. Look at Bullrug. That's been three uh, times today, time. right? Yeah, I think Jesus. so. And he's, yeah, Multi isn't particularly known for his ability of pushing pots. Bullrug gets it, honestly, to... Oh, oh no. <laughs> so, oh there is a secret uh, yes. hidden value on multi that makes it really hard for him to move pots and i don't i don't know why this isn't talked about enough or whatever i just don't think many people know about it but it's also the same reason that a lot of people play multi and despite him having the same exact base speed as every other character he feels slow and he feels terrible and people are just like what is it about this guy is it just because he's so big what is it why does he feel bad you know what it is he has a hidden acceleration stat that is lower and it makes it really hard to move pots, actually. So, it's just one of those things. Okay, that was a little bit slow. Could have done that better. Somehow, miraculously, I didn't break those pots over there. So I should still be able to do it. All right. <laughs> Spot location gave me a little bit of trouble last time. Speed, please. Oh, beautiful. That was probably the best thing I could have gotten there. I can get some ATGs now. Flash hour. That would be crazy. Maybe a little bit more healing. I like having two or three slugs on multi. Holy shit. All right. Oh, are you watching Cabbage right now? <laughs> no. I I don't see what happened. I was watching Bulric. He kick flipped for like the fifth time. Uh, the pot it would just go through the button and just fly away from him. He just kept trying to get it back and trying to get it back. And oh, he waits like two minutes trying to pot roll and it just wouldn't land. So he just gave up, shot the pot, and said, "Fuck it, I'm I'm done with this." <laughs> you know, I just can't help but but feel the frustration and the and the the rage that builds up when the pot just doesn't do what you want it to do. Propulsion armor. All right. Probably won't go into it, but it's nice to know it's there. See equipment over there? I don't even know what I'd get rid of. Honestly, even if I found vase, I feel like Blash Hour might be the play still. I don't know. Base is really good. <laughs> I just would lose a lot of damage if I find ATG. That would be extremely beneficial. I can get some insane band procs with an ATG right now. Got PSG. Okay, I gotta go double Void Seed. Yeah, no thank you. Is there any more of that Void Gup remaining on Bullrug? I think he just no. annihilated it. No. Wow. Double Seed though is kind of rough. Um, letting those Void Gup kind of take control of the stage can be really damaging. They can keep spreading the infestors everywhere, so. Okay, well, I'll try to see if I can clear the teleporter while I'm doing this.
Plasma Shrimp on Bullrug, actually, from the seat. He just got a red item out of one of the chests that was in the Void Seat, and it is a Shattering Justice. I love it. Jack UZ is Dude, really happy right now. Multi uh, blessings are true, chat. The Caster Curse did not uh, did not ruin it. It's real. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, Wake oh. a Vault coming in. Holy shit. Yeah, it's Look truly it. a really good run now. Gearbox, if you're watching, all right. Uh, there is a... I don't want to call it an issue, but it kind of is. It's an unintended behavior uh, in Eclipse 8 with uh, Wake of Vultures. The reason it's so unwanted and so undesirable in E8 is when you become a perfected or overloading elite and you go back to normal in a non-elite form, your health bar will go back to being half as much or you'll heal as half as many shields as you had so if you're perfected you lose half of your health if you're overloading you lose 25 percent of your health for free uh yeah. and it makes and the it only way horrible the only way to combat this is you got to pick up a rage you frag to counteract yep. the health Be reduction because what happens the wake of vultures will heal you for 100 percent of your health or whatever um but it's halved by eclipse 5. so <laughs> Just destroying that out there, all right? You know, it, it goes down to like a detrimental item in a Eclipse, unfortunately. So it's just, it's a shame. Hey, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Everybody had to deal with that, so I think it's okay. Um, although 23 minutes is not particularly fast. So, I do need to pick up the pace. I also am really low on speed. It's been kind of a rough day for that. I'm surprised that Cabbage... I know he spent a lot of time rolling the pots to not get anything out of them, and he didn't get, like, the free bans, but... Um, he spent a lot of time on stages, but he is catching up with the speeded pretty well. Alright, I need safer spaces. With this low speed, it's kind of essential, or, like, some opals. Okay, that's good. Very meh, okay. Now we're talking. I don't know if taking that was the right move actually. I'd take it, totally skip at this point. You know, I really like how focused Bullrug is this run here. Mm -hmm. He's just playing i mean obviously adrenaline's pumping through really frustrated you look at the the scores he's gotten third place every single time nobody wants to be the person that walks out with not a single point on on the board so just trying to find some some garbage time value it doesn't matter if he wins the the overall race or not i mean he's done these guys are on stage four and bullrug is done with stage five yeah. about to go to the moon the and... thing, like, he, he can play very fast, right? Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of the time, we see him actually be the first person to finish a run, like, real time, even despite deaths sometimes or what, like, but he's been doing really well the last, like, couple of weeks. He's been getting just so many first place, and he's won, like, the past two or and something. He did just pick up Larva. He did pick up Larva. With eight bands in his inventory. Yeah, I foresee a tragedy. Uh, about to occur. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, I guess. I, like I said earlier, I in this scenario, I'd rather take the plus five and keep my yeah, bands. absolutely. All right. Not really. <laughs> Sucks. Okay, well, getting some death mark. Still kind of cringe, but... Fuck. God damn it. That sucks. That's why I need the quail. Oh god. 
Oh, uh -huh, fuck. Don't let it happen again. That was dumb. Fuck. That may have cost me the race. Disputed is scaring me. He just lost his elixir right hey. now. He just got a plus five. Oh, no. Oh, boy. He needed that five minutes. And without that in play, oh. uh, Cabbage also picking up uh, Larva before the teleport event. Now, he doesn't have eight or nine bands oh, like man. Bullrug does. He has about, I want to say, 30% of that. A mistake. A simple mistake. That's all it took. Six bands right now, which is crazy powerful with the flash hour. Just not having mobility is really dicking me. Huge example here of uh, Wake of Vultures at play. Look at Bullrug's HP perfected. Yeah. No, this is how about oh, that? Back to half health. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Really horrible on the move. Yeah. And especially like in the Mythrix fight, if a perfected like exploder spawns or something and you kill it when you have Wake of Vultures, suddenly you're susceptible to being one shot by Mithrix. Just all of a sudden. It's just like, dude, it's like, come on. What is, it, what is happening? Uh... Excuse me? The fuck is that? Bro, that was fucking stupid. Why is that a thing? That was ridiculous. That was- what the fuck? Uh, are you looking at the speeder right now? What is happening? That is dangerous and he's about to die. Because he's okay. still continuing- his body is still falling. The game thinks- so, yep, he's... there he goes. Eh. <laughs> The game thought he was falling for about a minute straight, and he's already plus fived once yet that incident happened to him. Really not looking good for the, uh, the people wanting that tie. As fun and cool as it would be. Oh my that is. god. And, and the way that glitch happens is there's certain, like, if you're falling, there's certain terrain you just clip inside of. <laughs> yeah. I know there's one in Distant Roost. Um, it would happen to me a lot with Prismatic Trials, but essentially the game just thinks you're still falling until eventually you're falling at such a velocity. Um, you clip out of the clipping and just slam. Pancake, yep. minus 10,000 trillion health. Yeah. There's no amount of armor, no amount of uh, transport mode will get you out of that. A, f a fucking no clip through the map, fall through the floor, die? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, give me that. Dude, that's ridiculous. That is... Um, hopefully that death won't actually matter. It might, though. We'll see. I mean, we're looking at a very low speed run again. Surprise! So, we'll see uh, oh, how the yeah, Mythic fight and... goes for everybody. Yeah, the, the Soul Pillar Gambit is so... Easy. I mean, he did it. He's multi, right? But, like... Man, yeah. sometimes I see people spend like five minutes there and it's just like, you can't keep committing. Alright, let's see uh, how much damage Borg has for this fight. Again, he has no speed whatsoever. He has multi-acceleration, which we've talked about already. So this is going to be a really hard Mythics fight, I think. He has a, a lot of damage, obviously. He has all the bands, but um, this is going to be tough. If I lose the race because of that, I'm going to be so mad. You don't even know. If that if that's what cost me the race, it might not matter. If it doesn't matter, whatever. But it could. It might. There it goes right there. He's on the wisp. Easy nice. takedown. And Bullrug really just wants that wisp dead and takes a lot of hits from those mm. those exploders. He already he already knows he doesn't have one shot protection or anything, so he's really just relying on his safer spaces and his blast shower for like true defense here. For, from Mythrix, and he just looks like he's just gonna go all in. He's just gonna try to be really aggressive here, which I love to see it. 
And look at the patience on Bullrug not using the nail gun, knowing that it will kill Mithrix. And he is yep. down just enough. He's going to try to phase four skip here. here. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Really well I mean, done hey, from Bullrug. Bullrug could walk out of here with three points. There is a high potential. He yep. gets a bonus point here. All right, let's see Cabbage's fight. He's doing a pretty good amount of damage. He printed more bleed than Bullrug did. And he's kind of doing the same thing. He's just kind of trying to hold out uh, with Ten of Bobble and just, uh, just blast him. Disputed did not go into bleed. So even if uh, Cabbage dies twice, I think he still wins because the speed of oh, yeah. spice is going to be so slow. I don't have a feather or anything and no speed, so we'll fucking see. This could be a disaster. Hopefully not, but... Cabbage oh, just kind of dropping the phase four skip. He shot Mithrix once, um, and the plasma shrimp finished him off. Okay. You play this phase kind of slow. Shouldn't be too bad. What uh? What is Cabbage at? Forty one. I mean, Speed is already at fifty two. I don't think there's any chance. Lunar coin. Holy shit. So, Bolra got first in that one, but Cabbage, you, uh, you had a good run too, and Disputed didn't. So, it looks like we That's have a new winner here. today, and boom. I mean, obviously, good job to all you guys today. I mean, dude, it was rough. Not any more than, like, three speed items for any of you. All oh, day. I thought that was going to kill me, but it was the most obvious suspect. The floor is the just floor. The, the worst enemy in the game, apparently. Yeah, he, uh... <laughs> He fell through the map and then died. GG. Yeah. Everyone did a great job today.